Hey folks, welcome back. It's Jerry up here at Hilltop Firearms Training Center, Dover, Tennessee. Thanks for watching. I want to talk about two different types of people I seem to interact with on a pretty much a daily basis. And I want to see what you think about it. I want you to post your comments below. If you would, please do me a favor. Keep it professional. Okay, you got one group of people on this side. This group, they carry a firearm every day. And I think that's great. But they're reluctant to put a live round into the chamber so they carry it on an empty chamber in their holster and they feel they're adequately armed and ready to go. On the other side you have a group of people I just happened to see one just the other day right here in Dover at the local grocery store. He was openly carrying a 1911 real nice holster, real nice belt, real nice 1911 sitting in that holster and lo and behold the hammer was in the downward position. I would assume maybe he had a round in the chamber, hard to tell, but let's just say for sake, say he has one in the chamber and the hammer's in the downward position. He thinks he's just as prepared as the guy who thinks he can whip out that Glock 19, say, rack the slide and use that gun to defend himself or his family or his friend is really, in my opinion, is no different than the guy carrying a 1911 with the hammer down. Now, for those of you that might not understand what I'm saying, clear, 1911, nothing in the mag, nothing in the chamber. I'm gonna go ahead and close the slide. I'm gonna lower the hammer. Hammer in the downward position. You go to shoot the pistol. You depress the grip safety. Nothing works. Why? Well, it's a single action pistol. This is not a lesson on how these things operate, but, for, but just for those who are trying to follow what I'm saying, unless you have a live round in the chamber and the hammer has been in the cocked and locked position, you simply take the safety off, depress, and you're ready to go. People that carry one in the pipe with the hammer down have to come out of the holster and thumb cock it to get that thing into battery. Now, they are no different than someone who carries on an empty chamber, say a Glock 19. That's a good example. Well, you know, I don't like those Glocks because, you know, I, I'm kind of reluctant. I'm afraid that thing might go off, so I keep it empty chamber, and all I got to do is rack that slide real quick. What's the difference, guys? You know what it is? A lot of times people will say, well, I don't trust that Glock, or I don't trust that certain brand, or I don't like that design, when really they don't trust themselves. They don't trust themselves to be proficient enough with it, and they know there's a potential of an accident if they don't watch what they're doing. They're no different than the person who carries, say, one of these, but reluctantly, ooh, that hammer cocked back. What if, what if uh, I have inadvertently sweep that safety off while it's in the holster? Can it happen? Certainly it can. Does it take a little more training and a little more situational awareness to always know the status of your equipment? Yes. If you're one of those people, then you need to find some, either get some training or find a different firearm. Here's where I'm going with this. Violent encounter breaks out. Do you really feel that you're going to be able to, say say you have a Glock 19, you're going to be able to come out of the holster and rack that slide and then defend yourself? Now people argue, I train like that. That's how I train. I had a guy on the old video I posted like several years ago, he said, that's the way the Israelis carry it. Well, you're not, you're not as an, an, an Israeli Special Forces guy who trains that way. And I don't know why they carry that way. That's fine. That's a whole other topic. I want you to think of this, and we'll close it. Post your comments below. You ever been in a car wreck? You ever seen a car crash happen? Like in your, say, the few cars ahead of you, all of a sudden a car crashes? Didn't it happen really, really fast? Violence happens the same way. It, it, it's never going to be... You are at the mall with your family and you hear gunshots and all of a sudden the crowd parts and there's a guy standing there with a trench coat and an AK-47 and you push your family out of the side and you grab your pistol and you are able to. That's not how violence happens. Violence 
blindsides you before you even knew it was there. If you saw it coming, it'd be a little, maybe a little bit different. You might have some reaction time. Think about that. Post your comments below, please. Let's try to keep it semi-professional and as friendly as we can. Guys, I'll see you soon on the range.